this to this, and now, see, because now we have data. But the Solomons, Mr. Beatrice, Brother George, God bless you. That, that was God being the source. He blessed them. And they were able to bless me. Because I'd already blessed somebody. It was the exact amount. So it's not like, you know, when somebody blessed me with something, it's like, okay, you have increased. No, let me tell you something. At my house, stuff always going up. And it's not always money. Because I don't have the money to do all that. But it's always something. My time, my energy, other resources, equipment, you name it. It's just, it's a constant, you know, so all I'm saying is, is that whatsoever good thing a man do it for another man in, 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 in your life, whatever that good thing you did, God will multiply that thing in your life. So let me go, let me go further. Look at my talking points. First of all, we need to value true friends. We need to even nurture Nurture. We need to take care of our true friends. Most of us have more frenemies, you know, friend, enemy, frenemies, than we do true friends. Now, your true friend, you need to value that. V value that. The true friends, they're real. Look, they're your real friends. These folks, these folks that smile in your face. Now, they don't, some of them don't even want to take your place. They just smile in your face. And boy, when I found a man that's that way, boy, there are some men, they're just sorry. I mean, men, we should have a different mindset. And sometimes we act so petty. So in relationship, if you have true friends, you need to nurture and value that friendship. And the best of your friends will ask the least 